Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a drag and drop script for Unity so in the end it will look like this. I can drag and drop this game object with my mouse. Okay, so let's go. First go to your main camera, set its position to 0, 2 and minus 10 and make sure that it has the tag main camera. Then next we will create the cube which we will be able to drag. So go to the go to your hierarchy, make a right click, 3D object and select cube. Set its position to 0, 0, 0 in, in the inspector. Next we will create the C-sharp script which will handle the drag and drop stuff. So go to your project window, make a right click, create C-sharp script. And I will call it drag and drop. Make a double click on it to open it. And so we can start coding. We can delete the start and the update method because we won't need it. What we will need is the public void on mouse drag method by Unity. So this method always gets caught as soon as you drag the object with your mouse. Um, and inside here we want to change the position of the cube. But first let's hit um, save and let's drag and drop our script on the cube. So if you click on the cube you can see on the right in the inspector now that it has the our new script as a component added. Okay, so go back to your code editor and now we want to change the position of our cube to our mouse position. So we do this by writing this dot transform dot position equals and now we need the camera dot main and it has the method screen to world point and this method calculates your the, the, the world position from your screen position. So as input we give it our screen position, our mouse position. Vector 3 uh, input dot mouse position dot x input dot mouse position dot y and as the third value here this will be the value how far the object will be in front of the camera because our mouse position is only 2D. So we don't know how far the, the Unity doesn't know how far should the object be in the away from the camera. So in our case we put the we have put the camera on the set value minus 10 and the cube is in zero so it's a distance of, of 10 units so we just write 10. Okay add a bracket here ah and there I forgot the new. So if we save this and go back to Unity and hit play we can see okay cool we can drag and drop our game object but as you can see it's not perfect. Every time I click on the game object it first jumps and that is why we need to add an offset because our game object um, jumps directly to our mouse position but the pivot point of the game object is in the middle of the game object but we touch it on the side of the game object so that's why it jumps. So we again use a unity method and it's called private void on mouse down. So this is the moment when I click the mouse button and we will save our offset as a vector 3 value. Okay. And here we will assign offset to our position.
um, minus ah sorry yeah exactly minus this position because we want to get the distance between our position where it should be where our pivot point is right now and where the object should be so then we also have to add this offset in here I save it and go back to unity hit play okay cool this works as you can see here nothing jumps anymore if I click on the edge of the of the cube I can drag it on the edge um, but it's still not super smooth and that's why I will use a uh, vector 3 lerp so this will smooth the whole movement um, just right here vector 3 dot lerp and close the bracket here we will need a speed time dot talta time time uh, yeah and I multiply it with let's say again 10 it's the speed how far it, uh, how fast it will um, follow my mouse position and in at the beginning we have to again say this dot transform dot position comma I zoom out a little bit so you can see all it okay I save it go back to unity hit play ah nice as you can see it's much smoother now I really prefer this way okay perfect it works the script uh, you can see it on patreon it's in the comments I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions just write in the comments Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you!